All right, welcome back. So I thought I would go through some tips and tricks on uh, Google um, Slides that I use for my announcements in Blackboard. So some of the tips that I have and some of the things that have uh, made me successful in kind of upping my game when it comes to Google um, Slides and my announcements. One is, as you can see here, this is my um, announcements for my Geometry B course. You'll notice that I've got some it's a longer and wider. I was able to change the width. I'll show you how to do that. You literally just go to File, Paint Setup, and you can customize the length. I found Blackboard 8.5 by 11 is a good size, and it works pretty good. So as you can see, um, I've got a lot of the little links in here. Um, anyways, another tip that I had was... If there's, a, if there's something on your slide you know you want to have on every single slide um, inside your presentation or your announcements, for instance, where it says Geometry B underneath Week 14, um, that is on every single slide. I didn't want to put it in every single time. So let's say, for instance, I want to have this Supplemental Resources block always in that spot no matter what. All I do is click... I, I select it, I right click, click add to theme. When you add that to theme, it will automatically stay in there no matter what. In fact, when I click this, you'll notice that I can no longer select it, right? The same with my pacing information, geometry B, it won't let me select it. My contact information never changes, so as you can see, I can't click it and select it. It will always be there and not be able to move. Um, so that is very useful if you have something that's going to be on every single slide, no matter what, and you don't want to worry about moving it on accident. It also allows you to copy paste a little easier from slide to slide and so forth. So, um, another tip would be to, um, how to put it, a YouTube video quickly into your slide. So what I like to do is I like to go to YouTube search for the video that I want so let's say oh, Simon Sinek he's always got a good video so let's say I wanted to put this video in I'm gonna pause it I'm gonna go down here to share actually I don't even have to do that I can just go up here to the YouTube URL and I'm gonna copy it I can use control C or uh, right click copy Go back to my slide, and let's say I want to put it here in my feature. I'm going to click Insert Video. And I just paste it into the video search. And boom, there's that video in YouTube. I hit Select. And it usually comes in a pretty decent size. You might have to resize it a little bit. I'm not too worried because I know that inside Blackboard, they can play it, and they can also full screen it if they want to. Um, another thing you can do is you notice how on these features right here, these blocks, all these are shapes. So what I did was I clicked insert shape and you can make it a square. I literally just made a little rectangle and then to tilt it, all you do is you click on the little circle up here and you can tilt it any degrees you want. And it was kind of neat to get, play around with that to make that work. Um, um, the next tip I have is when you are, um, if you change the size. Let's say I change the size of this. You want to make sure that you go back into publish to the web. Okay. Embed. You publish it, okay? You want to go back and re-paste this into, into Blackboard. You want to copy this and paste it again. Otherwise, you'll have black lines along the edges. You can adjust the size. I like to leave a rate of medium. It works really nice there. Um, I click, I uncheck start slideshow as soon as the player loads. I don't like that checked. I want my current week to show. So, um... If you click Start Slideshow as soon as the player loads, every three seconds it's going to change the slide. 
If you really wanted that to happen, you could maybe go every minute or every 30 seconds. I recommend just leaving mine. Um, I like to show the current week up at the top. Um, let me see what else is in here. The rest of these are just images that I paste in here. Um, so those are really easy to just pull off the internet and paste. This, um, yeah, that's awesome. So those are some of my tips. Um, oh, one more you can do is, okay, let's say I want to start a new slide. Okay. You notice I started a new slide and I brought up all of the um, stuff that I put it added to the theme. So let's say I want to edit this theme once it's created. So I'm going to go to Slide, Edit Master. Okay, as you can see, there's my master. And I can edit it any way I feel. In fact, while I'm in here, I'm going to take these extra pieces out. I don't like these in here. I don't use that font color anymore. Um, I like to have them more customizable and so forth. I'm going to take all these out. And as you can see, this is my template. I can add anything I want here. Um, so let's say I want to add just a text box. So right here, I want text to be displayed automatically. Um, or, oh, and then what you do is you just type in, this is where I want my text. And if you notice, when I close this, you can see it's on every single slide. If you've got any questions, feel free to reach out to me. I hope that you found this helpful. Um, it's just some tips that I've found along the way. And if you've got any more tips, feel free to share them with me. I'd love to keep improving on um, our Google Slide game. All right. Have a good one. Bye.